In this video, we'll create a customer sales agreement, which is a contract offering special pricing or discounts in return for a commitment to buy a certain quantity or value of a product over a set time. It's important to note that sales agreements override pricing and discounts in trade agreements. Also, sales orders can be placed directly from sales agreements. We can create a sales agreement either through accounts receivable or sales and marketing and sales agreements. And we'll open a new sales agreement. And first we'll enter our customer and the other required field is the sales agreement classification. You can define your own classifications, specifying translations for different locales and external codes. So we'll click OK and we have our new sales agreement. In the header, we can see the agreement status defaults to on hold. We have to change this to effective if we want to use the agreement and we can enter a default expiration date for the lines to use the sales agreement on a sales order line. The request ship date must be within this validity period. In the default commitment field, we can specify one of four default commitments for this agreement, which will define the lines we add. For example, if we keep the product quantity commitment and add a new line, enter an item, we will see that we can now edit the quantity and the unit, but we cannot edit the amount field. We can add a discount percent and a unit price, and we can change the expiration date if required. If we now change the default commitment to the product value commitment and add another line, we'll use the same item. We see now that the quantity we cannot edit, but the net amount we can. The next default commitment, the product category value commitment, relates to a specific amount from a specific category in one of our defined sales categories, for example. And again, we can edit the amount here. The last commitment, the value commitment, relates to a specific amount from the whole sales hierarchy. Now we have many other options outside the scope of this video, but once we are happy with our sales agreement, we'll close and refresh and we see the status is effective.